Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a very special whiskey. And this one is called Boplas. What language is this? Well, this is South African. This is uh, how it's called Afrikaans. Yeah, and the Boplas 1880 is a grain whiskey, a single grain whiskey matured in tawny casks, 50 to 60 euros here in Central Europe, 43% ABV, uncolored, unchill filtered with 43% ABV, and it has an age of six years. So Boplas is a winery, a bodega, a chateau in South Africa. And this is uh, run by the Nell family since 1880, where the uh, whiskey gets its name from. And the family does not only produce wine, but other spirits as brandy, gin and whiskey, in this case, a grain whiskey. It matures first for five years in bourbon casks and then got a finish in their Cape Tawny liquor wine casks. What's the specialty of this? Well, they had to avoid the name Tawny Port because this is legally uh, bound to Portugal, where the Porto port wine comes from. And so they take over the Tawny, but they omit the the port. There's a special thing going on with different uh, whiskey produ producers which use sherry-like casks. Yeah, so that's it. This whiskey uh, got a, uh, a Best South African Whiskey 2018. Well, I can't see it's so small printed, uh, which it was. Uh, I think it was the uh, International Wine and Spirits uh, Fair. I think this is in San Francisco and every year they uh, hand out 80 to 90 prices. Well, and best South African, there aren't many South African whiskies out there. So we're going here without all this marketing. We're just tasting what comes from and the fin uh, bottle, well done, uh, the finishing well done. There's a band roll uh, for not uh, faking that whiskey. Uh, refilling with different mm, liquids. Oh, well, ha, where is my knife? I rebuilt something and the knife is gone. What a shame. So I have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here I have to make a cut. Yeah, so it's wonderfully fruity already on the cork and definitely shows the whiskey aroma. And I can't tell you from now from the, from the smell if this is a grain or a malt. I know it's grain, but the smell was very familiar to me. Yeah. Now it's lighter, now it's a grain. And on top of that is this tawny note. Yeah, it's fruity, fruit cake, and some, well, Christmas uh, spices like cloves, cardamom, yeah, darker fruits. But there is a light note in it, so it shows that it is not that old already. Yeah, cheers. And the taste, it's extraordinarily spicy. It's peppery. It's close to chili. It's very, very intense. And then Whoosh, it's gone, and the fruity notes of the tawn, tawny casks <laughs> uh, take over. And there's vanilla caramel from the bourbon casks. And there's this oily grain notes present. 
the oak notes are a little bit longer in the aftertaste. This spicy note is extraordinary. I haven't had that before. Extremely. If it's that strong because the grain whiskey is that smooth, no, it's absolutely very strong. And this spiciness for 43% ABV, that's very unusual. Yeah, if you're looking for something really special, this one might be the right bottle for you. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Thank you.